Sean Paul, and you know we are checking out Vision Latina. Sean Paul said, so keep it locked every time. Vision Latina. Dante. Boom. And if so, do you think like the, the future of dance hall and reggae is with that Latin fusion? I think that, uh, you know, for me, I, I wanted to make my, my, my stamp in dance hall music at first. And, you know, those years happened. They have them extremely successfully, and I want to expand, not move on, but expand. Like, uh, so yeah, I'm doing works with a lot of different Latin artists, also Afrobeat um, music. I've been doing some stuff with. So I think at this point in time, I think what, when an artist is young, needs to establish where, what what his angle is coming from, and 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 that was me with dancehall. Other than that, I'm doing what I've learned or what I've gained. The, uh, you know, the, the knowledge, the fans. Um, you know all, all the experiences from dancehall, and I'm I'm putting it into other music to to remain. Uh, what can I say? You know, relevant and, and and just like stay in genres that are that are popping right now. Like I'm doing a lot of dance oriented dancehall music mix and some pop stuff and some you know reggaeton kind of flavored you know Latin flavored stuff. Uh, yeah, hip hop flavored thing, trap music. That's what my album is called, Full Frequency, right now. So, yeah, I think it's a great thing, and I think that uh, with, with time there will be a lot more collaborations with with us. You know what I mean? Um, I've been talking with Daddy Yankee a lot. Me and Donna Mara are friends uh, for a, quite a few years now. I've done a song where we sing, which we will be soon doing on stage. Um, you know, big up to Faruko. He's doing his thing. I, I'm doing work with him. I've been introduced to more artists such as J Balvin and. You know, a, a quite a few different just, you know, characters and, and, and people from the Latin community. So for sure, I, I'll be definitely doing that in time. It was the same way that I was being introduced to different artists in um, the Afro, the, the Afrobeat kind of world. And I'm just kind of gravitating toward it, towards it because it sounds a lot like what we do. And, and, and it's familiar and similar. And, and I think that great minds think alike and that we should and that um, it's just only good for the music if we do. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, th there's, uh, I've met some people here tonight, I'm gonna listen to their tapes. Um, you know, you saw all the performances tonight? What? No, I didn't, I didn't see all the performances. There's some, there's some people, I met a, 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 young lady, a young lady backstage that it made me uh, forget what I was, you know, I, was, I didn't remember where I am right now, but I think about her, yeah, she's beautiful. Well, yeah, <laughs> you were there, right? I was like, ah, nah. yeah, beautiful. But um, so you know, I take time to to kind of like sort it out and uh, see who I wanna. I, I'm not I'm not really uh, like a stush or picky person that way. But uh, I I just feel that music has to make make you you have to feel it first. So it's not all the time that it's like, you know, what I mean, oh yeah, just give me some cash because that's it. Uh, I have to feel it too. So if it's not that I'm feeling it too, I'm like, eh, no. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what were your motivation about? Well, a lot of my motivation is beautiful yeah. ladies like yourself. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Motivate <laughs> a lot of young ladies. Thank you. Make it, making, you know, music for you to enjoy, to dance, to, to, to feel free with, you know. Um, other than that, self-expression is sometimes that I do you know, say a lot of stuff okay. in my own language that mean meaningful things. Um, but mostly it's just about partying and, and having a good time. I think that there's sometimes with music, music is for entertainment, it's for enjoyment, it's also for education and it's for, uh, you know, teaching people, um, informing people. So sometimes, my, most of the time, my, my outlook is to the more entertainment side. You need a break from the real stuff in life.